I'm coming. What's poppin' everyone? Welcome on back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are. It is a beautiful Saturday afternoon at this moment and we're gonna listen to some Gino Vanelli. We're gonna listen to this track off of his album Brother to Brother released 1978. We're gonna listen to the title track here. This has been recommended and suggested to me by Jaybird who described this as Yacht Prague. Listen, like you mentioned, I like to be sold on a suggestion, okay? I, I like, sometimes people just put the, a name of a band and, and an album or whatever, and then that's it. I'm like, I, I, I get hundreds of requests. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to that, but you gotta sell me on it. Just give me a little something, make me want to listen to it. And it's a late 70s pop fusion hybrid with master si masterful musicianship and vocals. Hey, I'm in for it. So Jay, thank you. However, you're not the only one who's recommended this particular track. It also has been suggested by T-Bone, Snup's Synth Channel, uh, David Gale, Scott Bernethy, Robert Jewell as well, and Melvin Womack. And it goes on a little bit from there. Actually, quite a few people have recommended this track. So yeah, never heard of Gino, but we're going to find out about him today. Let's go ahead and give it a listen. We'll talk about it after. Let's dive in. Boom. That's already ear candy. Okay. Nice. Oh, that's an intro. Give it to me, yeah. <laughs> we love one another. We hold a key to a promise. So, so, so. This little groove right here on the drums, very impressive.
back and forth bass versus drum solo. Back into these luxurious Las Vegas like keys. He added the double bass drums in while he did that fill this time. Breakdown at this point. Jay, and everyone else, I'm just picking on Jay. You described this as Yacht Prague, and I gotta tell you, this was like, that was the perfect descriptor for this track. Yacht Rocky, Jazz Fusionist, Prague-esque, and all, all so tasty, so wonderfully wrapped up into this really, really fantastic package. Has the catchiness and the smoothness, the the smooth sailing of a yacht rock track, but at the same time that hard line technicality and high caliber musicianship that you would expect out of some fusion. That was absolutely stunning. From the beginning, when you hear the drum groove, as soon as that drum groove comes in, like it's just so so fast, intensely jazzy, alongside a, a really great wrap up of a bass line. Like that was really fantastic. Uh, of course, Gino's singing himself as he's handling lead vocals, and he does a little bit of the synthesizer in here, but it looks like most of that's going to be handled by Joe Vanelli uh, on this particular track and album as well. Just, just stunning. And specifically, a lot of you guys know me by now, which is why I think, Jay, you suggested this song, because you kind of know my taste, but a lot of people know my taste by now, and you know what I like. Here. For example, those keys, I just love the sound of those kind of keys, so, like the tone of that. It, it just it hit, hits me in a, a core kind of way. They're so smooth, and to me they sound luxurious, like they're just shiny and shimmering, and I mean, that's fantastic. Then you have the whole instrumental section in the middle where you have a, a back and forth solo battle between the bass and the drums, which I thought was really neat, a nice little inclusion. Speaking of which, on the bass, you're going to have Jimmy Hazlitt, which he doesn't, his name doesn't sound familiar to me, but I feel like I've seen his name somewhere, but I can't speak uh, like, you know, to that. Uh, he's part of the Yellow Jackets, a fusion group there. And then on the drums, so impressive, is Mark Craney, an American rock and jazz drummer. Uh, he's played with, uh, oh, he's, okay, besides, obviously, Gino, he's played with Jean-Luc Ponty on Imaginary Voyage, as well as the 1980 album. He played with Jethro Tull from 1980 to 81 on their album A, and on the following tour. Huh, that's kind of that's that's kind of interesting. That's really cool. Um, but yeah, that drumming was 
absolutely fantastic. I really enjoyed the solo section, especially when the guitar comes in. Uh, just sets things over the edge. Guitar on this particular track is going to be handled by, it looks like, Carlos Rios. Just a really fantastic solo there. This was a, a blazing track. This was one that you'll put on and you can please, excuse me, you can please so many different audiences. You can please the catchy, smooth vocal pop audience, but you can please the deeply technical, maybe more wanting a little bit more out of music audience as well. This is a really, really fantastic recommendation. Thank you. I appreciate it. Brother to brother, now we must join our hearts and hands. Yeah, if we love one another, we hold the key to the promised land. And really that line and that stands, I should say, really encompasses the message of the whole rest of the track. Brother to brother, we're all human. Uh, brothers and sisters, sisters and brothers, we're all together and we're all in this together. Let's do the best we can to make the world a better place. Think of all that we've been through, the shucks and jives and royal blues. Let us pray our time will come when this world will live as one. Brother to brother, now don't let the devil get you down, because it's bread and it's butter that makes this whole damn world go round and round. Do you think where we went wrong? Or do you know where we went wrong? Tell me why the lines are drawn. And let us break our boundaries down and live our lives on common ground. And, and like I said, it goes on from there. That's really the gist of the track. V lyrically, a nice message, but it's about that music. And it's about... Uh, Gino's vocals, which I really enjoy the way that it gets into that higher note and just sends everything off. Talk about a NASA launch. Let me know what you guys thought of it, though, in the comments down below. Thank you for the suggestion. I appreciate it. I like when I get introduced to something new and flavorful. Put your comments down below in the, in the comment section. You can also uh, support the channel on Patreon for as little as $2 a month. Otherwise, please enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll talk to you all later, guys. Bye.